Happening today, it is screen free week. The first week of May is a week away from screens as a way for kids to try to reconnect with the real world. The real world, what's that? <laughs> I know. Channel really. 3 Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio joins us. She's in the studio this morning with more on the study and some options for things for kids to do to put down that device. Hi, Patricia. Hi to both of you. Well, you guys are both parents of young kids, so am I. And we were talking about it is a hard thing to sometimes get your kid to get away from the screen, but it is important for their imagination to play outdoors, to explore and have conversations. And these are all things that a lot of kids just don't get to do when they have screen time. So it's to get them to get back to the basics. So I like to let him watch just one episode and then we can take a break and play outside or do something with one of his toys instead to get a break. Erica Sargent is like many moms these days, trying to strike the balance between allowing some screen time and still encouraging traditional play. According to recent studies, she's on the right track. The World Health Organization has issued its first ever guidance for how much screen time children under five should get, and it's not much. The UN agency says children under age one should not have any screen time, and those under five should not spend more than one hour a day watching screens, be it TV or electronic electronic devices. Kid City Children's Museum in Middletown is one of many places around the state offering programs to coincide with Screen Free Week. I think that these days we're all so distracted all of the time and just simple pretend play and getting back to spending time watching each other, talking to each other, it's just really healing. It reminds you why you love your kid. It recharges your batteries. Bottom line, a healthy childhood depends on playtime. For the little ones, we have to be mindful of their developing brains and helping them grow and nourish. If you want to have alternative ideas of things to do with your kids, there's lots going on around the state, and we've got all that information for you on the Channel 3 app. I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.